cold enough to freeze. Paimon is kind of a traveler's exclusive personal tour guide. But since this is a special occasion, Paimon can make an exception to help Tuzer get to know the place. This place is Leila's commercial hub, and it's been the biggest port in the Seven Nations ever since it was decided that Leila would take on the world through trade. Other than merchant vessels, many fishing boats and industrial transports dock here to replenish their uh, fishery supplies and daily necess necessities, which thanks to the immense throughput capacity of the wharf, um, uh, yeah, Paimon can't remember how the rest goes anyway. Well, guess Paimon will just have to explain this Paimon style. So this harbor is like Tavat's mouth, and it's the biggest mouth you've ever seen. All the nations float their boats over the sea into the mouth. The harbor goes om nom 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 and has a taste of each boat and the cargo it has on board. Then, Leary Harbor rubs its big round belly in satisfaction because it's all stuffed full of delicious mora. Hey, what's that big metal hook over there? I want to see. Wait, Tuzer, don't run off. Ugh, after all that, he wasn't even listening. all the time. It's a shame. Wow! Using Fatui funds for personal gain? To think Snezhnaya would let their harbingers do that! All for some giant toys! But suddenly, it doesn't seem so strange that Tusser would treat a ruin guard as a giant toy. But my favorite has to be Mr. Cyclops. Even though I mostly came here to see my brother, the other big thing I wanted to do was play with Mr. Cyclops. Oh, are they selling fish over there? Let's have a look. Hey! Quit running off! Is this where they sell fish? Wow, the fish here in Leo are so small. Hey, whose fish are you calling small? Little kids shouldn't go around ruining others' business. He's just a curious kid. No need to get worked up. That said, these fish are actually pretty big by Paimon standards. Just how big are the ones you're used to, too, sir? Um, maybe 200 times your size? There are legends in my hometown about it. It's supposed to be a super delicious fish. I told my brother about it, and he went out to sea to catch one for me. A few days later, he returned with a humongous fish slung over his shoulder. Anthon and I were so happy. Are you sure that was a fish? Paimon thinks it sounds more like some sort of leviathan. Hey, Mr. Nice Guy, let's go over there to see the boats. <sighs> What's wrong, Tuzer? Are you tired? You don't seem so happy. I miss my brother. What? But we were just with him. Yeah, but for such a short time that it doesn't count. Take me to see my brother. I don't want to play anymore. Ah, uh, yep. You can have all the patience in the world, but it won't help you at a time like this. Well, we've played with Tuzer long enough, haven't we? Paimon thinks we've tried our best here. Child said that he'd be by the river near Ching Shu Pool. Why don't we look for him there? Yay! Let's go! Let's go!
highway destruction. what I'm here for, I trust. Oh, you got lip. Making us guess, are you? If you want to join up, let me just say this first. Dandy kid like you, you ain't welcome. Oh-ho! Uh -huh. What a commendable imagination. Well, in the Tsaritsa's name, I suppose I should forgive you, country bumpkins, for your ignorance. For I am... Brother! You're selling them toys, aren't you, brother? That's so cool! I've always wanted to watch you work. Uh, well, why, yes, of course. For I am the greatest toy salesman in Shnezhnaya. Uh... So cool. Huh? You playing games, pretty boy? So, will you buy or not? The toys that Shnezhnaya produced three months ago will run you... Yes, 600,000 more. To be paid in full. T toys And <laughs> how much money? Wow, is that what it's going to cost to fix that head of yours? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, spreading joy and laughter to everyone. That's what toy selling's all about. I'll say it again. Toys from Shnezhnaya, three months prior, 600,000 mora paid in full. Yeah, no. Sorry, sales boy. The same joke isn't funny twice. Or were you always cruising for a bruising? <sighs> all right, then. I'll make things a little easier for you. I'll join the treasure hoarders. Perhaps you'll be more willing to pay when we're brothers in arms. <laughs> Would you listen to yourself? You think we just let any old person into the treasure hoarders? I'm not so sure you could hack it. <laughs> well then, why don't you put me to the test, dear seniors? I like to think of myself as quite talented in the field of treasure hunting. <laughs> Looks like you're not going to pack it up until someone packs you in. All right then, show us what you got. Truth be told, we've set up a shop here because there's a fine little loot cave nearby. But the treasure hasn't been easy to get at. We've been at it for two days now. If you think you're up to snuff, why don't you have a crack at it on our behalf? Of course, that means that once you got it, it's ours. Don't try to sneak off with the prize now. <laughs> Come on! If we can't do it, do you really think this guy stands a chance? An initiation test, eh? Interesting. It's been a while since I've been assessed by someone else. The loot's on the opposite cliff. We're gonna hang back here and watch the show. Huh, no problem. Don't blink, though, or you might miss it. <laughs> 